Have you ever wondered what you can do to protect yourself against price increases while you wait on your order? Now, this video isn't just if you've ordered a Ford Maverick, a Ford Escape, a Ford F-150, a Ford Ranger, Ford Explorer, whatever the Ford vehicle might be. This is true of every single manufacturer. So any order that you put in at any manufacturer, obviously manufacturers over time do increase price. And that could happen to you and probably will happen to you while you wait for your ordered vehicle. Because these days, no matter who you're ordering from, you're likely waiting anywhere from three months to slightly over 12 months. So it depends on the model you're looking at, how popular it is. So you need to know, and this video, if you watch to the end, is definitely gonna help you know what to do to protect yourself against price increases. And of course, it's not just about protecting yourself against price increases, it's about knowing what you can do. So we're gonna cover all that. I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. I'm here to help and the name of the channel isn't, you know, Johnny's Car Help because that doesn't just qu sound quite as good, but I am always here to help even if that means sometimes getting up a little earlier and grabbing a coffee with y'all if you're watching this in the morning when this first co comes out. Well, cheers to you. Thank you for joining me here. So let's just jump right in, put the pedal to the metal and get right down to the nitty and gritty. So what can you do to protect your vehicle against price increase? Obviously this happens. If it didn't, a Mustang GT would still cost about $8,000, which is what I remember it costing, you know, in the very early uh, 90s. Prices go up, but everything goes up over time. So what can you do? Well, there's actually several steps. And the first step is when you order the vehicle. And the key word here is order. Because for example, if you're looking at a vehicle that doesn't, you know, quite you can't order it yet. So an F-150 Lightning is a good example. We've been able to reserve it, but we haven't been able to order it. So it's when you order the vehicle based on the prices that are, that are out. When you order, that's the price you're going to pay if you do this right. So first of all, Ideally, watch one of my build and price videos if it's covering the model you're interested in because I go through on those build and price videos and I show you exactly, you know, different builds and what the price should be. Essentially, the important part of all that is how to use the tool, the build tool. So most manufacturers, you can build your vehicle right online, equip it, play around with the equipment and look at what a lease or a purchase is going to look like. In regards to rebates, if, they, if there are any in these days, well, probably shouldn't expect to get a whole lot, but you also need to look at the interest rate. So look at rebate, look at interest rate. If you're looking at a lease, look at the lease price. A lot of that is based on residual, meaning the percentage of the vehicle that you need to pay over a period of time. All those things get locked in if and only if that same month and ideally that same week you go to a dealer and you order the vehicle and when you order the vehicle get yourself a signed offer from the dealer because that's what's going to lock all of this in now if you shop across several months so you start shopping in june but you put your order in october well there's nothing anyone can do for you to protect that price you're looking at in june it's based on when you put your order so in that example october now you might be waiting anywhere from these days you might you're probably going to be waiting anywhere from three months all the way to over 12 months depending on the model and its popularity so it's this is a problem across all manufacturers it's a supply chain problem uh, there's even problems in regards to transport there's you know problems in regard regards to getting enough supply for plastic rubber vinyl, glass, the list goes on. And I'm not gonna get into that. I've covered that in other vehicles. Uh, there is a microchip shortage. Everyone's feeling it from you know the PS5 to the, the, the new Xbox machine, so video game consoles. Gamers are feeling it for their computing towers. But simply put, there are delays. And there are things that you can do. So we've already talked about step one, really two steps build your vehicle online take note of what kind of interest rebates and what kind of monthly price this makes make sure you hit if you're in an area with taxes often people will 
you know these sites build them without the taxes included and that can you know get a little tricky when you go into the dealer and you're thinking you're not getting the right price when it's really just about hitting that tax taxes included button so don't give your sales uh, consultant a hard time make sure you build it right online and that's why I do have these videos it's to make sure everyone gets a fair deal and everyone feels like they've been treated fairly because remember when we go into a business relationship when you go shop a vehicle you're essentially getting into a business relationship with someone the same way is when you shop a house and you have a real estate agent working with and for you it's all about working together so build it online find out what the price is step one step two once it's all worked out get yourself a signed offer now here comes the important stuff so don't don't click off yet this is pretty important this is the crucial part when you have your signed offer you need to keep that on you and when your vehicle does come in you need to compare you can go build the vehicle online again and see if the deal for you is better and the for you part is very important because sometimes there'll be for example a big cash rebate and it appears like the deal is so much better but the interest is much higher in that case if you're a cash payer uh, you're paying cash that deal's going to be way better jump all over it but one thing no dealer no matter you know how much you work over your sales consultant and hopefully you don't hopefully you work together with your sales consultant but one thing your sales consultant cannot do for you is mix promotions they can't take what you like about the old deal when you ordered you know your signed offer they can't take what you like about that drop what you don't like and then pick and choose what you do like from the new deal it's one or the other so you know, you know hopefully you don't give your sales consultant a hard time with that there's nothing that they can do it's one or the other but do review to see which one's best for you now very important few more steps in what you need to do and what you can do to make sure you get that original price protected so let's say now in the meantime the manufacturer has increased the price let's not get too worked up about this this happens over time like I said earlier if it wasn't the case we'd still be buying Mustang GTs at 8,000 and I would have about five of them great car loved my 20 2018 Mustang GT 5 liter incredibly smart motor with the direct injection port injection but let's not get too sidetracked about how much I love certain vehicles what you can do against that price increase. So currently, the Ford Maverick, for example, has had a price increase. In some instances, it's $10 on you know the medical kit, and in other instances, uh, in a lot of cases, it's about $150, but in some instances, for example, if you've ordered a Lariat with luxury package, well, in that case, you're gonna be looking at over $700 of price increase. So this is pretty important. So this is what you can do. You've got your original offer. All of that is locked in. Your dealer might not know about it. They might not know that there's actually a claim system that they can go through. It's uh, similar and it's a lot like putting in the regular claims when you know they, well, when you, you put in the, the current month's deals, the claim system is very simple, very straightforward, but it is doable to claim back previous uh, deals. You know, they need to, and this is where your offer is going to come in handy because your offer is actually going to show what that original price was. They can go into the computing system, look at the codes that they need to punch in into the claim system. So the original codes, you know, there'll be a series of numbers kind of looking like a lotto ticket. Well, they need to put in those six or seven numbers. That's their code to protect themselves in the claim system. So let's say when you ordered the interest rate was a little higher than the current month. But you had, for example, a $2,000 rebate from the manufacturer. That's gonna have a code. They're gonna have to put that code into the claims claim system. And in putting that code in, it'll prevent them from losing $2,000. And let's face it, on a Maverick, that would put them below cost and would hurt a whole lot. It's, it's just not uh, feasible to run a business where you lose money selling and providing a service. So that's what they need to do. Now, sometimes so much time has gone by that the claim system 
isn't the same simple claim system that they would normally use when claiming a current month's promotion. So under a current month's promotion, there's a code for those manufacturer rebates that they punch into the claim system and everything is hunky-dory. But sometimes, so much time's gone by that that claim system just kind of goes, hey, hey buddy, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, too much time's gone by. Now this is gonna be different from one manufacturer to another manufacturer, but at Ford, there is an internal system that dealers can put in a whole lot of paperwork and send off an email. It's uh, I can't give out that email, but dealers can look for it. They can ask, you know, obviously around at, you know, Ford and whether it's Ford or another brand, we always dealers have the capability of obviously of being in contact with the manufacturer and they can tell them where to send off that info. They're also going to need that signed offer. So remember when I said you got to hold on to that signed offer? Well, things happen in businesses and let's say they don't have that original paperwork. Well, this is where your signed offer is going to be really helpful because you can take a picture of it send it to them by email and they can use that for putting in your claim. So make sure you hold on to that signed offer. It can be extremely helpful to you. It can also be extremely helpful for your dealer in making sure that you get that original, you know, original plan and protect you from the MSRP price increase because when it comes down to it, when a manufacturer increases the MSR, MSRP, that's the window sticker price. So that's the price, uh, the starting price that you build from online or at the dealer. Dealers can't, can't do anything in regards to that price going up other than if you did order and you did keep your order sheet, well, they can put in a claim to make sure you get that original deal when you ordered. So I hope this has been helpful uh, up here in the north. Uh, I think it's uh, just long held tradition. Originally, we had to help our neighbors out to you know survive the winter, even to the point where you know local general stores. Um, I recall I could recall when I was a kid going to the local store either for, for the farm I worked for the beef farm or going with my parents they'd always ask you do you want to put that on your tab because you know they're there to help and sometimes that meant you know over the course of the summer or spring you would put everything on tab and come harvest season when you harvest and you get paid uh, or in the case of you know when you sell off your cattle on a beef farm well that's when you'd pay your tab at the general store so I hope kind of like that original general store that I used to go to uh, I hope this has been incredibly helpful uh, if so please show your appreciation by hitting that like button putting in the comment finisher with a little exclamation so that I know you got to this point in the video and it helps me with my content it also helps the channel grow and please do hit that subscribe button if it hasn't been done yet. Uh, it does help feed and dress that poodle and helps with the channel's uh, you know, adventures. So going to the woods, for example, with that ATV, having, uh, you know, having the Broncos on the channel. It's been so an it's incredible been year. We broke over a million views on the channel. We hit over 5,200 subscribers. So thank you so much for this fantastic year, everyone. And, you know, until the next video, of course, I'm going to wish you all more cars and more power. So I do hope that the more cars means your Maverick or Bronco is going to be coming in soon or you'll be ordering up, uh, being able to order that F-150 soon because that's supposed to happen in January. So thank you so much. Have a great week. Until the next video, take care.